Welcome to Hustle System. My name is Mikhail and I help people master the mindset, build a better business and help you live your life on your terms. In this video, we are going to talk about how to overcome the victim mindset. And this is huge, 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 huge because it's stopping you. It's preventing you. Your own, your own mind is preventing you from having the life that you want. Because the way that you're relating to other people is sabotaging your very existence. Okay, I'm going to break this down. So there's a, um, a very common concept called the triangle of codependence. And understanding where you fit on this triangle is really going to help you understand how to deal with other people and how to create more advantageous situations for yourself in general. So you have the uh, triangle of codependency is you have a codependent, you have an abuser, and then you have an enabler. Okay. Now you might hear the word abuser and say, well, th does this apply to, you know, um, uh, like domestic abuse, etc." cetera. And, and, and it does, but it also applies in business as well. It also applies in friendships as well. So very common what you have is you have a process, you have this triangle. And so what ends up happening is it's called triangulation where uh, you have a kind of an abuser and they triangulate with an enabler in order to attack the codependent. So you might have found yourself at either one of these points. And, and how, how can you tell? Okay. Uh, well, the codependent is where the victim mentality resides. And to break out of the victim mentality, you, you have to understand this triangle because once you're able to understand it, you'll be able to see where you fit and how to sh change and sculpt and adjust the situation to where you're no longer in that corner of that triangle. So the codependent is the victim. Codependent is someone who seeks approval, seeks validation, um, and is looking to please other people. And because they're looking to please other people, they have a lack of what's known as boundaries. So if you imagine this triangle, it's kind of, the, there's no boundary. So it's kind of like if uh, you just you know, left your, your house door open, the entire time and, and put a big sign that says, Hey, come in and take whatever you want. Right? How long would it take before, um, there'd be nothing left in your house. And that's a really great analogy where if you open up your house door and you say, Hey, come in, take whatever you want. But then afterwards that same person goes and goes into victim mentality and says, why did, why, why aren't people nice? Why did people just come in and take everything? Why, why didn't they understand? Why weren't they generous enough to leave the things that were mine? Right? Well, it's because you basically allowed them to do that. So, it's not necessarily the intention. The intention is important, but it's also what you will allow or will not allow in your life. So if you find yourself on that codependent victim mentality, you first have to understand that there are other people that are playing the other two roles or sometimes groups of people. And once you start to really hone in on that, that's when you start to be able to break down the dynamic. So let's talk about the abuser. Hey, the most common is um, the employee and the boss right? Because the employee doesn't have any boundaries with the boss because the boss can fire the employee. The boss tends to be abusive or harsh or um, kind, kind of rough around the edges with the employee and the employee becomes the codependent. And thus the most common phrase, right? Of like most employees is like, Oh, like I hate my job. You know, I wish I could leave and they feel trapped. They feel stuck. Right? So if that's you, understand that there's an actual dynamic that's happening here. So I'll just give you this, uh, this dynamic as an example. Let's say you're an employee at a company and your boss is verbally or emotionally abusive or, you know, there's physical abuse situations as well. Um, well, what's the third person? That third person might be something like your parents, right? So you have the abuser, you have the codependent or the victim, and then you have the enabler. And so the enabler might actually be your parents and they might be telling you to not quit that job. They might be saying, well, that job is good enough. And you're like, yeah, but you know, I hate it. And my boss yells at me all the time. Well, the enablers, the enabler doesn't want to become the codependent. They don't want to become the victim. And so they feel like they, they're in a position of power over you because they're able to influence your behavior. And that is the critical point to mastering the victim mentality and unlocking and unleashing it forever so that you never find yourself as the victim ever again. Okay. Is the power of influence over self and over others. 
You really understand that? In the triangle, because of the lack of boundaries for the codependent, you are under the influence. If you are in victim mentality, you are under the influence of everybody else. So you're gonna have three steps that you're gonna need to take in order to break out of this, okay? The first step is to identify the other parts of the triangle in your life and to establish clear boundaries. What that means is, if your boss yells at you, you might have to tell him to not yell at you. You might have to make a conscious choice that him yelling at you won't affect you. You might have to make a conscious choice to leave that situation and never go back. Clear boundaries. The same applies to the enabler. If your parents are telling you to stay in that job, you might need to draw a clear boundary that says this is not their life, it's your life, it's your job, and it's your job to live your life however you want to live it. Okay, that's the first step. Identify the other parts of that triangle and draw clear boundaries. This often happens when, say you have a client and you rely mostly on that client for your sources of income. Well, what happens is now that client knows that you're not gonna be able to uphold a boundary because you are dependent on a client, right? Codependency. And so then they will abuse your boundary and your ability to draw a boundary. And as a result, you'll find yourself in the quote, you know, victim mentality. And as a result of that, you'll find yourself experiencing, you know, low vibrational attacks. You'll find yourself with anxiety, stress, etc. So that first step, again, if you are in the victim mentality, identify where is the abuse coming from and what is enabling that abuse to happen? Because if it wasn't for the enabler, you would actually feel strong enough to draw the boundary because at that point, the abuser would also be isolated, right? You have to understand that nobody wants the isolation. And so if it was just two points, then it's just as disadvantageous because the abuser also has nobody to abuse now. So they wouldn't want that. But now the abuser can actually just abuse the codependent. It's, 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 pr it's a pretty crazy thing. Like once you truly start to see it, it shows up everywhere. It shows up in, in business meetings. It shows up in relationships. It shows up in friendships. Pretty wild, okay? Now the second step. So again, the first step is identify and draw clear boundaries. The second step is influence over self. So what you're going to do is you're going to exert a massive amount of influence over yourself. And you're not going to allow anybody else to exert influence over you, period. So you are 100% now influenced by yourself. Does that make sense? And that doesn't mean don't go reference, you know, Ray Dalio or Warren Buffett or Elon Musk. But that means that the decision on the critical actions that you take in your life come from you first period. And what that does is that solidifies that boundary. So once you've identified and you've drawn that boundary, this really solidifies that boundary. It's a boundary that says, it doesn't matter what you do. I'm going to do whatever I want to do anyway. And what you find yourself is you find yourself slowly breaking out of that victim mentality, because if nobody can affect what you do, you are now no longer allowed to be a victim because nobody can do anything about what you do. So it must all be your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a lot better than victim, by the way. Be being uh, being self-conscious like that and self um, self-judgmental, I guess, um, self-critical is a lot better than being a victim. Okay. And then there's a third step, and that will take you from that paradigm into a paradigm of leadership and empowerment. And that's start to exert influence over others. Now, influence over others means positive influence. That doesn't mean go and be a bully. That doesn't mean go and scream at people. That doesn't mean go and take the abuse that you've received and lash it out onto somebody else. It means transform it. What you have here in this video is an amazing opportunity to change the world. Those of you that are watching this, this is an opportunity for you to change the way that we interact as humans and break some, some really powerful patterns. Because let me walk you through this. If you have, this triangle that you start with where you are the victim and you have this abuser and you have this enabler and you draw those boundaries, you identify them, you draw those boundaries, draw those boundaries, draw those boundaries, and then you exert influence over yourself to say, I'm no longer influenced 
by any of these things. Then you put yourself first, solidify those boundaries. Now what you do is you start to exert influence over others, but you now have a choice. Are you going to be an abuser or are you going to be an empowerer? And what we're doing here is we are transforming that paradigm so that if you are the boss and you have employees, you are going to be very, very aware of what it feels like to be down there, of what it feels like to be a codependent, what it feels like to feel like the victim. You're going to be aware because you've been through it yourself. And it's now a conscious choice for you to not be the abuser and to be the empowerer for people to show them what their power, their power is, to shed light onto what they're actually capable of, to give them the tools they need to succeed, to push them to rise to new heights. Okay. So hopefully you enjoy this video. This is something that took me a long time to master. I'm, um, you know, I'm in my thirties now and I still find myself in victim mentality. Like when, um, when an important client, for example, decides to, that they need something that, you know, I'm not really supposed to provide. Well, I, I'm, I, I try and always provide it uh, before. And now I'm getting a lot better about drawing boundaries and saying, Hey, you know, we actually don't provide that. Um, like you kind of knew what you were getting into. We'd love to help you out. If you, if you need the help, like it's, a, it's an emergency scenario, let us know. But actually as a heads up, we don't do that. So um, that's just one example, obviously, romantic relationships, family relationships. You guys get it. So uh, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel down below. And if you're already subscribed, uh, but you haven't clicked the notification bell, please click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more awesome videos like this. And comment down below this video. Have you ever found yourself inside of victim mentality? If so, what was the situation? How did you get out of it? And what were the lessons that you learned? All right. I appreciate you guys. This has been Hustle System. And my name, as always, is Mikhail, where I help people master their mindset, build a better business, and help you live your life on your terms. In this video, we talked about how to break out of the victim mindset. I'm extremely excited to see you in the next video. Over now.